Hey guys, this is Joe Hobbit with MWD. Uh, today I'm gonna quick review the Motorola Zoom here. <clears throat> As you can see, it does run on a uh, Honeycomb uh, Android 3.0, and this should be the first tablet that runs on Android uh, 3.0. It's relatively quick as you can see sliding through the uh, pages here and also opening apps look for an example one of the applications as Angry Birds uh, you can you know when you open up pretty quick and then you close it now let's say you click on books it's as I said it's really responsive and that's due to dual core processor what I like about it the most is the YouTube application that they have it here. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a panoramic view. Um, you can browse and then channel and stuff like that. Uh, the browser itself, I love the browser, I must say, um, because as you can see here at the top, uh, you have tabs which you can open and close at the same time. Uh, kind of feels like uh, Google Chrome, or maybe it is, I haven't found that spec yet, but if you go, let's say, to our, one of our websites, uh, pretty responsive. Unfortunately, uh, it does not have a flash uh, yet, but uh, as you can see, you can do a pinch where you zoom in and out, right? Uh, you can check which sites you already have as a bookmarks and stuff like that um, there's the music I don't have anything loaded but uh, Google Talk uh, Gmail there's a market I actually just downloaded Skype to see if it does uh, uh, if it does use a front facing camera and the rear or the rear facing camera this application unfortunately it does not uh, I tested it and I was not able to do a f uh, I was not able to use the front facing camera so uh, too bad so let's go a little bit into the what do you call it, the settings right uh, you can click on apps here these are the apps that comes with it uh, Angry Birds doesn't and Adobe Showcase as well as I downloaded a uh, flash player uh, light uh, that's not on it by itself so here's the settings uh, it's a little bit different than on, e on any other uh, Android operating system the storage this particular one it comes with 32 gigs it does not show here but uh, basically it does come with 32 gig uh, memory at the top here it shows real quick it's kind of hard to see but uh, you basically open up this you can load your uh, 4G card in it uh, and right here is also your micro SD slot where you can load another 32 gigs uh, so basically total of 64 gigs uh, as I said before it runs on Android 3.0 you have your wireless stuff uh, this particular the one that I have uh, it does have a 3G currently I'm connected to my network so but that's pretty much it I mean I love it it's not too bad um, but as you can see there's a camera right there uh, which is 5 megapixel camera with the dual flash LED flash uh, here's your uh, power on and off button as well as your uh, speakers right here uh, Google has its own stuff here uh, at the bottom of it you have your mini USB and then you have mini HDMI uh, plug-in and I'm not sure if you can see it but right here is also your power outlet uh, where you can power this thing up at the top think it's too dark but it's right here um, it's your 3.5 head jack and it, on the side right there just a sec right here is your rocker volume up and down 
and that's pretty much it you can I like as I said before I like the the YouTube uh, part which is looks like a panoramic and as well as how fast this thing is so well guys you have a good day and this is a review of Motorola Zoom by Joe Hobbit from MWD.com bye